Airbus and Tata Advanced Systems have announced that the first made in India H125 helicopter will roll out in early 2027 from India's first private sector helicopter assembly line. Maharashtra Police's Elite Force 1 unit is set to acquire 15 US made Barrett multi role adaptive design sniper rifles along with advanced accessories in a deal worth around 5 crore rupees that will be assembled by Hughes Precision in India. Brahmo's Aerospace and Bangalore based Axis Cades Technologies along with Good Luck India Limited have entered into a strategic alliance and submitted the bid for AMCA's full-scale engineering development. Russian President Vladimir Putin is set to visit New Delhi on 5th December for the 23rd India-Russia Annual Summit, where announcements are expected on the Su-57E 5th generation fighter jet and the S-500 air defense system. The DRDO has launched development of a high-power electromagnetic payload weighing under 15 kilograms, that will be integrated on UAVs, and will have capability to disable hostile drone sensors navigation and control links. The Tejas Mark 1A has successfully completed weapons integration trials, that includes the Astra Mark 1 and Astra missiles, clearing the way for induction of first two Mark 1A jets into the Indian Air Force this month. Nigeria is nearing a deal for four Prachand light combat helicopter units under a soft credit arrangement, outbidding the Turkish T-129 and European Tiger. Philippines is also in advanced stages of discussions for local assembly of the Prachand helicopter. The DRDO is preparing to conduct the first flight test of its Dvani hypersonic glide vehicle by the end of 2025, that has a maximum speed of Mach 21 and a strike range of 5,500 km. Ground tests have already validated key subsystems, including scramjet combustors, thermal protection systems, and guidance technologies, and its upcoming flight test will be a game-changer in regional and global defense dynamics. The Chief of Aeronautical Development Agency has confirmed that the upcoming GTRE Safran 120 kN engine will integrate smoothly into AMCA's engine bay that was originally designed around the F-414. Only minor modifications in mounting and airflow are needed, ensuring minimal risk and faster timelines. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has confirmed that it holds 10 F-414 engines that are enough to power the initial Tejas Mark II prototypes and keep development on track ahead of its rollout by 2027. The engines will sustain testing until full-scale local production begins, ensuring program timelines despite global supply chain risks. Hyderabad-based VEM Technologies will be a Tier 1 structural integrator in the AMCA program, and will supply large pre-assembled AMCA modules, that will cut the integration time by 30%. This move supports modular production plan targeting 16 AMCAs per year by 2035, with private firms handling 70% of the program. Europe's 100 billion euros sixth generation future combat air system program is in trouble, as France and Germany fight over work share. Dassault Aviation has threatened to proceed independently, while Germany is considering quitting and joining the UK led Tempest project. Experts have said that this rift could open a window for India, especially with France's Safran already co developing a 120 kN engine for the AMCA. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.